Craig Ferguson goes in search of joy in talks with actors, doctors, stand-ups, and scientists. Everyone. Is it love, religion, drugs, money? Where do you find it? Craig Ferguson, In Search of Joy, The Celebrations, The Dances, Science, Poetry, Laughter, and Music of Joy. Don't miss it. Joy with Craig Ferguson. Hear it now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm here to help. Does your brain keep you up at bedtime? I'm Catherine Nikolai, and my podcast, Nothing Much Happens, Bedtime Stories to Help You Sleep, has helped millions of people to get consistent, deep sleep. My stories are family-friendly, they celebrate everyday pleasures, and train you, over time, to fall asleep faster with less waking in the night. Start sleeping better tonight. Listen to Nothing Much Happens, Bedtime Stories to Help You Sleep with Catherine Nikolai on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. From Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about folk heroes, women whose lives and stories took on mythic proportions. Today, we're talking about the first known queen of Japan, a mysterious shamaness who was descended from the Shinto sun goddess and who used her magic to rule over her kingdom. Please meet the divine Queen Hamiko. Himiko was probably born in the second century in ancient Japan. Little is known about her life before becoming a ruler, but her mystery was a big part of her fame. Himiko, the shamaness queen, ruled within the towers of her fortress, rarely making public appearances. The isolation let Himiko spend her days consumed in magic. She occupied herself with sorcery, supposedly bewitching the people of her kingdom. Hamiko assumed leadership at a time when Japan was an archipelago of competing clan nations. This period introduced irrigated rice farming and metalwork, along with the development of a growing class system and political power. The region was also flooded by violent civil war. Clans battled one another, each eager to become the dominant kingdom. Around the year 200, a group of chieftains from the Yamatai clan elected Hamiko, an unmarried shamaness, to lead them into a new era. They had high hopes for her success as their queen. She was, after all, supposed to be divine. Hamiko's name means sun child or sun daughter, and she was said to have descended from Amaterasu, the Shinto sun goddess of Japan. Legend has it that Hamiko had the ability to speak to higher powers from the spiritual world and tell the future of her kingdom. Beyond the sorcerer's watchtowers and stockades and across the Yellow Sea, Hamiko's diplomatic skills and divine rule were highly respected. Hamiko dispatched three diplomatic emissaries with tribute to the Wei Dynasty of China. The Chinese appreciated her gesture and gifted her 100 ceremonial bronze mirrors a symbol of ultimate status. Chinese historians were also one of the very few to document her legacy and lifestyle. In the history books of the Wei Dynasty, it was written that Hamiko resided in a palace waited on by 1,000 female servants and guarded by 100 men. She had only one male attendant who served her food and acted as a point of communication between her and the outside world. Her brother handled in-person political matters and assisted her as a political advisor. Hamiko was praised by her people for bringing peace and unity after a tumultuous period of war and political upheaval. The queen died in the year 248. She was buried with 100 sacrificed servants and a bronze mirror in the first Kofun tomb, a keyhole-shaped burial mound reserved for members of the ruling class. Hamiko wasn't an anomaly. She was part of a strong tradition of religious female leaders and political figures in ancient Japan. But with the Japanese adoption of Chinese, Buddhist, and Confucian ideology, women began losing access to positions of political and religious leadership. Early Japanese texts excluded the shamaness queen's legacy, casting the extent of her power and her very existence as a myth. The unknown location of the kingdom of Yamatai added to the erasure of Hamiko. But in 2009, archaeologists discovered a tomb just like the one Hamiko was buried in. Inside, they found 81 bronze mirrors thought to be Hamiko's. 
Hamiko has become one of the most controversial figures in Japanese history. Many find power in her story, while others discount her as a witch. Nevertheless, Hamiko's impact is inescapable. After her rule, male Japanese emperors began claiming to be descendants of Amaterasu. It's also said that Hamiko was the originator of the most important Shinto sanctuary, the Grand Shine of Ise, where the bronze mirror is housed to this day. All month, we're talking about folk heroes. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. Craig Ferguson goes in search of joy in talks with actors, doctors, stand-ups, and scientists. Everyone. Is it love, religion, drugs, money? Where do you find it? Craig Ferguson, In Search of Joy, The Celebrations, The Dances, Science, Poetry, Laughter, and Music of Joy. Don't miss it. Joy with Craig Ferguson. Hear it now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm here to help. Does your brain keep you up at bedtime? I'm Catherine Nikolai, and my podcast, Nothing Much Happens, Bedtime Stories to Help You Sleep, has helped millions of people to get consistent, deep sleep. My stories are family-friendly, they celebrate everyday pleasures, and train you, over time, to fall asleep faster with less waking in the night. Start sleeping better tonight. Listen to Nothing Much Happens, Bedtime Stories to Help You Sleep with Catherine Nikolai on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Go anywhere in a reliable Toyota SUV, complete with the tech you need for any adventure. Like a RAV4 with available panoramic view monitoring, giving you more visibility than ever before. Or check out a Highlander, available in hybrids to combine efficiency and all the space you need. Or a Venza, available with a 12.3-inch touchscreen and premium sound system. Choose your Toyota SUV today. Visit buyatoyota.com for more and let's go places.